Welcome to a vision of Japan, unlike anything you've experienced before. Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, is set during the closing years of the Sengoku period. It's a time of near endless conflict and bloodshed. Journey into this unforgiving world shaped by violence and discover what secrets await in the shadows. Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, follows the story of a shinobi known as the Wolf. As a young boy roaming the battlefield, he's taken in by the Owl. What's the matter, Stray? Nothing left to lose. The Wolf is assigned to protect a new master known as the Divine Heir. You will pledge your life in my service. As you command. The boy is the descendant of a mysterious bloodline making him the target of the Ashina clan. Leave this to me. So the noble shinobi stands in our way. You must never forget the shinobi code. If your master is taken, bring him back at any cost. What is this? The wolf's prosthetic arm changes how he fights. This mysterious shinobi tool can be outfitted with an arsenal of powerful items, like the grappling hook. Use it to explore new areas or gain a tactical advantage. Break shields with the loaded ax. Drag enemies closer with the loaded spear or set them ablaze with the flame vent. Stun and confuse enemies with shuriken and firecrackers or deflect heavy attacks with the loaded umbrella. Mix these powerful tools with your sword to find new ways to kill ingeniously and tip the odds of the fight your way. Combat in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice requires strategy, and the same tactics won't work against every enemy. 
A master shinobi must be both aggressive and versatile. Deflection is just one way to turn an enemy's attacks into an opportunity. Each deflection will deal damage to an enemy's posture. Keep it up, and the enemy's posture will break, leaving them vulnerable. Use this critical moment to land serious damage with a shinobi death blow. Enemies at times will use perilous attacks that cannot be blocked. In these situations, you'll need to make a split-second decision. Will you risk great harm to yourself and attempt to counter the attack? Or will you use this moment to fall back and prepare for your next move? Success against stronger enemies will come down to learning their distinct tactics and responding with your own unique offensive and defensive maneuvers. You'll also find that certain situations allow for a silent approach. Use your blade for a quiet takedown. Or eavesdrop to gain vital information about your enemies. In Sekiro, shadows die twice. You won't survive every encounter, but death is not always defeat. The wolf has his limited ability to return from the dead using resurrection. After resurrecting, the wolf is vulnerable. If he's killed, it will mean losing valuable resources and potentially other, more personal consequences. Performing a shinobi death blow or resting at a sculptor's idol will allow the wolf to resurrect once again. With each battle won, you'll begin to unlock new skills that help you fight and defend. You'll discover shinobi tools that expand the capabilities of your prosthetic arm and find materials like gunpowder to upgrade them. Your journey into darkness will be fraught with challenge and surrounded by death. But if you execute different strategies in battle, and leverage the powerful tools in your arsenal, you can rise to any challenge. It's so much worse than I thought. We'll drive the Nazis out of Paris, just like Daddy did back home. No phone calls, no letters. He just vanished. My agents inform me that he left the country under a false identity about four weeks ago. What the hell is this place? Codename Blackbird? Paris Catacombs? That's your lead. He's in Paris. You know, if we say something, they aren't gonna do jack shit. Well, I guess it's just up to us then. Let me show you something. Whoa. It's do or die. Just like Daddy told us. <laughs> you guys are weird. If BJ fucking Blaskowitz doesn't want to be found, no one on God's green earth that's gonna find his ass. We got this shit, sis. Fucking A. Have you ever killed Nazis before? We were born to kill Nazis. Yeah! Can we make it? How the fuck did I know?
Moonlight 2 features a functioning ecosystem that reacts on multiple levels to the things you do and the choices you make. In the example we're about to show you, our protagonist undertakes a mission for the Peacekeepers, one of the many factions active in the city. They want you to negotiate with two survivors who are controlling and hoarding a water supply. Are you going to insult this with another final offer? Let's say you choose to carry out the Peacekeepers' orders, one way or another. After this, you'll start seeing a significant change in the city as access to the water supply has allowed the peacekeepers to bring stability and develop the area. There's even running water for the people at street level. And that raises their morale and allows you to replenish your energy on the go. But there's a cost to this. The PKs have a rigid approach to law and order. So while the streets may be safer, it's only safe for those who side with them. So if you get on their bad side... Now let's return to that moment of choice. And instead of killing them, you choose to team up with this group to supply water in the black market. As you will see, this creates a very different set of consequences for the city. With water being a precious currency, it brings you access to new resources and trade. But this, in turn, attracts the worst type of people to the area. And this is just a single decision, one out of hundreds you'll have to make. But it allows you to carve out your own world, your own city from the apocalypse. Each player's game experience will be unique. And by the way, this is just what happens in the day. At night, well, things tend to get a lot darker. In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion. But it's there, just around the corner, and it keeps you going. It's a city of dreams, and I'm a big dreamer.